just recently we had a session with a couple and you know, I saw something that was that was eerily familiar to what I've had to go through in my relationship and what a lot of men go through in their relationship. And and based off of my own personal experience and my experience of working with other men around this particular issue, I was able to help this gentleman out um, of a predicament by assisting him in elevating his consciousness on this particular issue. Now, the issue at hand was that the, the wife, um, she had felt um, a whole bunch of resentment towards um, her husband as a result of some of his indiscretions in the past. And, and um, you know, she wants to be close to him. She wants to be connected with him. But she has this hurdle internally that she's trying to um, leap over to, to really restore that connection in their relationship. And, and the husband is, you know, trying, clawing, and, you know, just trying to get back to the surface in terms of, you know, really reestablishing that connection and having that intimacy that they both so, so, so long for. Um, but he's also asking the question, like, what do I do? You know, what mathematical equation um, can I apply here to really make this connection thing click? And um, he said that, you know, when you tell me to do A, B, and C, and I do A, B, and C, you're still not happy. You know, when you tell me to rub your back and kiss your forehead and, and um, you know, just rub your feet, you know, and I do those things and you're still not happy. Um, so what exactly it is, what, what exactly do you want me to do in order to, you know, help you to feel more safe and comfortable in this relationship so that we can get back to where we used to be, baby? And so he's pleading with her, asking her, and she's sitting in front of us crying. And, and um, she's told him in the past, like, please do this and please do that. And he's complied and done those things. And But, but her issue was that in him doing those things, it almost felt as if it was just another exercise. It was just another a, another check in the box, you know, just another another routine thing that he's doing to really get to the intimacy that that um, that he says that he wants. And so what he failed to realize and what I had to help him to understand was that you're looking at this thing very logically. You know, you're trying to cross the T's and dot the I's and you're looking for the mathematical formula that's going to get you back to intimacy and really and truthfully what your woman is asking you to do is to be present and walk with her. Go on this journey with her. So when she tells you or asks you to do certain things, it's not even so much in doing the things that really brings about the transformation. It's more so in being present and allowing those things to embody you, embody the entire experience. It's in those moments the transformation actually occurs. So, you know, I told him that you got to suspend logic. It might not make sense to you. There's been a number of occasions in my wife's, um, in my relationship with my wife where, you know, some of the stuff she does makes absolutely no sense. And she's not here with me right now. But, <laughs> but even if she was, I would still say the same thing. And I'm pretty sure there's been things that I've done. As a matter of fact, I know there's things that I've, been, that I've done that make absolutely no sense to her. And that's okay. You know, we're wired differently. We think differently. We feel differently. And that's absolutely okay. Um, but what I realized in, in, in my relationship, um, not only in my own personal experience, but in my professional experience as well in terms of working with couples, is that you have to reach a point in your relationship where you realize that the math will not add up. Your math won't add up. And it's okay if it doesn't. Her math might be 5 plus 1 equals 7. Your math might be 5 plus 1 equals 6. And you're saying, no, 5 plus 1 equals 6. And she's saying, no, baby, 5 plus 1 equals 7. What I'm challenging you to do is to roll with her math. And the reason being is because she understands who she is, what she wants, where she is, and what she needs. The only way for you to assist her and to assist the relationship in terms of maturing and reaching and evolving and reaching that particular level that you also desperately desire to reach is... You have to adopt, embrace, accept, and appreciate her math. Appreciate her logic and stop trying to impose yours upon her. It ain't always going to make sense. This video right here might not make sense to you, and that's perfectly fine. I'm asking you to suspend judgment. Roll with it. Accept, embrace, appreciate, and internalize the fact that it's a process. Be present in the process, and I promise your relationship will flourish. As always, stop playing 
and start pushing.